What's going on, guys? I consider myself a jack of all trades, but my name's Jeff, so welcome back to Jeff of All Trades. Today, we're going to be mounting that Hollow Sun 509T onto my Glock 17. As you guys know, I don't have my Glock 17 cut, so I've been using the dove mount for that. I currently have the shield sight on there right now, the RMSC, but I want to upgrade and put on the 509T. So this is a fully enclosed red dot sight. It's super cool. Kind of looks like a holographic sight and a much bigger picture on it. So I'm really excited to put this on. Thankfully, Dove Mounts has a plate for that. So I'm going to be taking off the RMSC plate and putting on the 509T. Let's jump right into it. All right, so we're going to get off the Shield RMSC, which uh, is a beautiful site, by the way. This is no disrespect to this site whatsoever. Um, I'm actually an affiliate of theirs. If you want to pick this up, I'll leave a link down below. It's an amazing site. Uh, you won't regret buying it. But because I got a new toy, we got to play with that new toy. So we have the Holosun 509T. So this is kind of the newest type of site right now that everybody is excited about it's a fully encased sight so it's more like a holographic uh, instead of a regular red dot so it's got glass on the back and then it's got glass on the front as well so this is a absolutely beautiful sight here uh hollow sun 509t first thing you'll notice is that this doesn't have a traditional footprint that other sites really have um, but it just has this Allen screw, you unscrew, this pops out, and then it slides onto a rail. Well, that's difficult to do if you don't have a rail on your gun. So the nice thing that Hollow Sun does send is a adapter plate. So if you have something that's already cut for a red dot, you can put this on here and it will still accept the 509T, which is very nice. But in this case, my Glock 17, does not even have a slide cut for it. So uh, this is one of my first guns, very important to me, not something that I wanted to cut into, not something I wanted to send off and risk having a mess up a uh, gun that's near and dear to me. So I did go with the Dove Dot mounting plate, uh, which you've seen on my videos before, and they just came out with this new plate that will accept the 509T, which is very, very exciting. So. We're going to get this off. First thing we're going to do is remove the red dot. So I'm going to take these two screws out here. And then go ahead and pull the sight off. We can put that on one of our other guns. Put that to the side for now. And then we have to pull out this lock screw here with that loose now it's still pretty tight and secure i'm gonna leave the slide on here and i'm just gonna use a block of wood so i don't damage anything put it this way so you can see it i'm just gonna put the slide right on that wood and then have the plate just off the other side so i can go ahead and tap it out Now that I have it loosened a little bit, I am gonna use the uh, punch that Dove also sells, and then I'll use this Loctite to put the new one on. So put this aside for now, but I am gonna use this. Go ahead and put it right there, and go ahead and punch this thing out. Very easy. If you've seen any of my videos before, you know how easy it is to put in just as easy to get out, it's in great condition. I can put this on one of my other Glocks since this is universal. Uh, so I'll put this aside, put it with a different Glock that I have, and then we'll go into opening up this 509T footprint, which this is so cool. I can't believe they came out with something uh, that's not just a different footprint for a different weapon, uh, but a different mounting application altogether. So this is already cut open. We'll go ahead and open this. This does have the uh, fiber optic that comes with it. As you can see, this has the notch cut out and the raised edges on the side. So when we put this hollow sun on there, we'll be able to secure it 
and it'll be a perfect fit. So let's go ahead and put this thing on first. Go ahead and flip it over this way, slide it on. Let's go ahead and give it a few taps. All right, so we got it moving in there a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, use this punch. Try to get it in the rest of the way. Grab my wooden block here. Still a little bit more on this side. Want to go a little more this way. Let's see if we can't get it to move with a little bit of the punch. All right, not too bad. So we'll go ahead and, I uh, could use a little bit more, huh? Let's get it a little bit more then. Let's give it a few more knocks. That looks pretty good, centered. All right, so we look like we're okay with that. Let's go ahead and put the gun back together and then put our sight on. All right, now that we have that on, sights all put back together, we're gonna go ahead and put in this set screw here into the middle of the mounting plate. So I'll go ahead and tuck that in. I will end up screwing this down with Loctite, but I do wanna take it to the range before I put Loctite on it to make sure the plate is completely centered for the iron sights. And if not, I'll bring it back, do a few fine adjustments, and then go ahead and put Loctite down. So what that set screw is doing is putting pressure on the bottom of the plate against the dovetail. So it's pushing down, which is making the plate push up against the dovetail itself on this slide. So that ensures that this isn't going to move. If you have any doubts, please check out my video where I torture the hell out of the dove plate and make sure that it withstands absolutely anything you could imagine doing to it. So go ahead and check out that video in the meantime, if you're still skeptical on if this plate is going to hold in place and uh, hopefully that'll prove you wrong. We'll go ahead and open up this here, which uh, the hollow sun comes with a tool and I'm just gonna loosen this up so we can slide this over the plate That should be enough. We'll go ahead and slide this on. Oh man, it just locks right into place. Like it was made for this site. Go ahead and lock down this screw here. All right, it's locked in. Go ahead and raise you guys up here. Oh man, I know you can't tell because it just looks like a giant red dot. Let's see if we can change that real quick. Well, I think it's just a little bit too blurry to show you what it is, but it has three different reticles. It has the uh, circle with a dot in it, the circle itself, and then just the dot. This is a two MOA red dot, uh, red and green, and it's an amazing red dot for any pistol. All right, now that we have the sight on there and everything's in place, we're gonna go ahead and switch out this front sight. The reason why we're gonna switch out the front sight is because this one here that comes with this 509T kit is actually taller than the other sights that typically come with dove mount or the tritium one that's on there now. The reason being is because of the thickness of this red dot as it is. We wanna make sure that we can co-witness as seamlessly as possible. So as you can see, well, if I line it up with this line on the table here, that there to the tritium, it's a little bit low, right? You're gonna need a little bit taller of a front sight on there. So that's where this is gonna come into play. It sits taller than the tritium, as you can see there, and it also sits taller than the 
regular fiber optic that comes with their standard dove mount kit. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one on there and go through that installation process very quickly. First thing you wanna do is take that slide off the gun. Once it's disassembled, if you've seen my other dove mount videos before, you know that there is a screw at the front here that we need to take out. But that'll be using this uh, tool here that I have here. Go ahead and put that in. Once you unscrew that, your front sight will come out. Then you wanna go ahead and put on your new front sight. Now, if you look at this, you can tell that there is a slant to the one end that goes towards the red dot site of your slide, right? It goes towards the back of your slide. So you wouldn't want to install it this way. It needs to be installed with the flat part towards the front and the slant aiming towards the rear. So go ahead and unscrew the screw that comes with it. Move this one to the side for now. Go ahead and set this in the front. All right, now you can see it's much taller, right? Kind of lines up with that rear sight, a little bit better for the co-witnessing. Now that that's in, we'll go ahead and put our screw in here. Looks good. Nice and straight. And look at that co-witnessing now too. Higher sight, great co-witnessing, nice and straight for the slide. Beautiful. So now we're going to go ahead and put in a uh, fiber optic for this. So I'm going to get one of the ones that came with the kit. Now that we have our fiber optic, we want to go ahead and shove it through both of the holes here in the front sight. Get it lined up. And before we push it all the way through, let me grab a different mat so you can see a little bit better. Now that we got it in a little bit, we want to melt this front of the fiber optic here so it can't pull all the way through. So I'm just gonna use a lighter, very simply, light it, put some pressure on it, that's gonna melt and kind of give a uh, stopper to the front there. Just a little bit of heat, just enough to melt it, smush it down, and push it all the way into place. Just like that. So now that it's in there, there's no way you can pull this out because we flattened the top on it. So now we're gonna go ahead and trim off just a little bit here. You don't wanna cut off so much that you can't smush it in there, but you don't wanna leave so much that it's gonna end up being a huge mushroom at the end of it that you're gonna to have to trim off. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a cut. And I think I'm gonna cut it right, right about here. There it goes. So now there's enough left that we can melt this on there now. So again, just a little bit of heat. Push that in there. So now that's all snug up. Good to go on both sides. And since we did this one a little bit thick, we'll go ahead and just kind of trim off the excess here to make it exactly how we want it to be. All right, now that that's all done and squared up, round it off the way I want it to be. Let's go ahead and put this back together. And we are all done. One of the things that I really like about dove mounts and how they do what they do is, number one, they thought about everything. They have the higher front sight here because of the thickness of this site being the 509T and how thick this red dot is, they came out with a higher front site so you could still call witness with the rear site. And on top of that, if you have this plate and you wanted to change or you wanted to try out something new, you can take this plate out, put a new plate on, and then you have a whole new gun. I understand that the 509T comes with a plate that can be put onto a specific footprint, but if you bought this 509T and it doesn't match the slide cut that you already paid hundreds of dollars for, then it's not gonna fit. 
and you're going to have to get a different plate for it and you're going to have to figure out a way to get this mounted on or you don't buy this amazing sight. So the fact that they have something that you can just bang out, you can reuse it on a gun a certain amount of times. I mean, I don't know how long it would take for this to wear down. I'm not saying it's a 100% reusable product over and over and over again. But if you ended up wanting to upgrade and go from something like the shield sight that we had on it and go to something like the 509T, those options are available, again, without cutting your slide. And that's always been a big thing for me. Like I said, this gun is near and dear to me. I didn't want to cut the slide, and thanks to Dove, I didn't have to. And now I have a beefy sight on here, something that I probably won't be changing out for a long time, and Dove had an option for it. So I think it's very uh, important to note that, and to, uh, important to note the quality that they also have with this, and that they've really thought of everything. And there you have it, the Holosun 509T, perfectly put on this Glock 17 using this dove mount adapter, the raised front sight here, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, can't wait to get this out to the range, shoot it a few times, sight it in. Uh, it's an amazing sight, and thanks to the amazing product, it was easy to put on this Glock 17, and I can use it going forward. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have the 509T. I haven't seen very much information on it, but if you don't have one, I would recommend you pick one up. And if you do pick one up or you want to, and you don't have a slide cut, now you know that you can actually do it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you very much. And as always, be safe. I'll see you in the next one.